Hi everyone and welcome to this uh, new video about math more analytics. Um, you're not gonna like actually this video because um, I didn't find perfect solution yet. But the idea behind is uh, to use actually Matomo as a qualitative uh, data platform. So basically imagine that, and it comes very uh, often, you have one blog post, right? You have one article and you would like to know if people are actually reading it or enjoying it or whatever. So uh, in order to do so, you need, of course, to install like a system in order to know if uh, people are enjoying this article or not. In my case, I decided actually to just ask them the question in basic HTML with a simple sentence, did you like this article? And then to have two buttons uh, called uh, yes and no. Um, so actually in terms of uh, code, it looks like the following one. So I have an H2 over here. Um, and then I have a button, which has an ID that I uh, did on my own, which is named yes button. I have another one, a button, which is uh, a no button. So I just added uh, an ID no button. I don't need the ID, I just did it because it was more convenient for me. And in order to track those two actions within Mantomo, what I wanted to do is actually to um, uh, retrieve the information, yes or no. And I did not want to use uh, the event tracking because I just wanted actually to send it to a proper report name, uh, liked or not. So uh, what I did is actually I went uh, over here within the admin part. I went then uh, on the custom uh, dimension part and within the custom dimension part I created one and um, I created it at the action level because I uh, want actually the value to be sent multiple times because I may have actually different articles so as you can see light or not what I did afterward is uh, of course when you have the number here uh, that's the most important thing uh, I went on the tag manager and I created actually one tag so I had one tag uh, which is measuring let's say Matomo for all the website and I have another one and this is where I probably did a mistake because that's probably not uh, the best tracking on earth uh, to use but I use actually an image uh, tracking code right so image tracking code is basically based on the tracking HTTP of Matomo so here I have the URL of my instance then I have the website to which I would like send the data to then I have the action name so in my case I need it uh, like it or not as uh, the feedback collected may happen on some uh, different URL, I thought that it would be a good idea to push uh, the URL as well. So what I did is I pick up a variable and I put it uh, within the URL parameter over here. And then I have the dimension number eight and the value I would like to push is the click text. Then I have my trigger. So my trigger is the following one is uh, when there's a click on an element and this element has a click ID, which is matching the regular expression, which is either the yes button pipe or the no button. So which correspond in my case to either this one or either this one. And uh, what is happening is uh, let's imagine that I have a given user. So let's say myself coming in over here and did I like this article? I'm clicking like eight time or even more on the no button. And then I'm clicking on yes. What will happen as a consequence is that all the data will be sent to my Matomo under a report which is named custom dimension, light or not. And like this, I will know if my articles are light or not. So. I can check that out within the visitor log. So this is the main issue that I faced is actually, uh, as you can see, it's the visit has been identified as independent from uh, the other one, which is uh, to me problematic because uh, it should be part of the same. So I guess that this is because this one is using the JavaScript tracking code and this one is using the, um, Let's have a look at, yeah. And this one is using the, the JavaScript one. So um, I will need to investigate a bit further to understand how can I, at least if it's possible to link actually all those actions out to this one because they are part of uh, the same visit. But here, uh, what you can see when I over my mouse over each of those links, that the data liked or not has been pushed out, which is exactly what I wanted. So in my case, I know in fact, which is the article on which the people have taken a decision and said if they like it or not. And then I have my report. So that's what I wanted under behavior, which is named like or not, where people actually um, saying if they like it uh, or not. And 
uh, get like a general overview of if people like uh, the blog post or not. So of course, if I would have used the events instead of it, I could have pushed uh, within the same uh, reports, the page URL and uh, the status yes or no, but it will have been named event and that's uh, not what I wanted. So as a result, and as you can see, uh, you can actually get uh, an overview of if people liked uh, your articles or not. Okay, so uh, that's uh, what I wanted to show you today is an easy way of how you can track actually if people liked uh, your uh, blog post or not based on uh, custom dimensions and probably in another article it would be even easier. I will show you how you can do it with events and as it will use actually the same JavaScript tracking code, it will be uh, fine because in my case here I used uh, the image uh, URL and probably that may cause actually the fact that uh, the visits were independent and that's not what you would like to get at the end of the day. Thanks for watching.